In this video, I'm going to have a look at securely wiping a Surface Pro. So if I hold down the volume up button and then press down the power button, it'll take me to the UFI BIOS setup. Now, Microsoft are a wee bit behind other OEMs and don't have a data wipe utility within their UFI BIOS setup. So what they have instead is a bootable USB utility called the Microsoft Surface Data Eraser. And this creates a UFI bootable USB, which can be used to launch a command prompt, which will erase the internal drives of the surface. Now, because it's Microsoft's utility, it obviously will pass secure boot using a Microsoft signature without any issue. However, one wonders why they don't essentially just incorporate it into the Windows installation media as part of an updated disk part. So once you've downloaded and installed the utility, go ahead and launch it, select 64-bit and then select your USB flash drive. So it's going to format your USB flash drive and then it's going to copy all the files over and make the bootable USB utility. So once it's done, it says success and we can have a small browse in Windows Explorer and it's FAT32 as expected. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this USB flash drive and plug it into the Surface Pro. And now I'm going to hold down the volume down button and press the power button. And I need to hold down this button until the spinner displays below the Surface logo. And this will initiate the boot from the USB opposed to the internal drive. So you basically see this command prompt utility and a license agreement will display. So in order to proceed, we need to type in accept and then we need to type in capital Y and then capital Y again to confirm that we really want to securely wipe this device. And if you use this utility on a device that's not a Surface, it's going to give you an error message saying it's an unsupported device. So after this, the Surface has no operating system. So you're going to get this error message. So let's insert a Windows UFI bootable USB and power up the Surface again. So now the only boot device is the USB, so it's going to boot to that. So after selecting the language option, select install now and the Surface's OEM embedded product key will be automatically input, taking you to the license agreement screen. Next, select custom install. And this is going to take us to the drive options. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't say drive zero unallocated space as I would expect it to. So the Microsoft Surface Data Eraser tool essentially creates a partition across the solid state drive instead of um, assigning everything to unallocated space. So we're going to need to delete this and then select next and we can proceed with the Windows install. 